An asteroid warning, NASA tracks a one-kilometer rock that could kill millions on rapid Earth approach. An asteroid large enough to cause global destruction if it hits will approach our planet on the weekend, the U.S. space agency NASA has confirmed. NASA's automated tracking systems have their eyes on a potentially cataclysmic asteroid dubbed 2002 PZ-39, which is estimated to measure nearly 3,280 feet one kilometer, across. The colossal space rock is currently racing through space at speeds of more than 35,500 miles per hour or 57,240 kilometers per hour. At this rate, NASA said the asteroid will make a close approach to Earth before noon on Saturday, February 15. According to the space agency, any rock this big has the potential to kill untold millions upon impact. NASA said, if a rocky meteoroid larger than 25 meters but smaller than 1 kilometer, a little more than half a mile, were to hit Earth, it would likely cause local damage to the impact area. We believe anything larger than 1 to 2 kilometers, 1 kilometer is a little more than 1 half mile, c. Old have worldwide effects. The destructive potential of such asteroids was also outlined in a 2018 White House report on so-called near-Earth objects or NEOs. The National Near-Earth Object Preparedness Strategy and Action Plan warned asteroids up to 3,280 feet one kilometer, across can initiate a chain of devastating natural cataclysms. The report reads, objects close to and larger than one kilometer can cause damage on a global scale. They can trigger earthquakes, tsunamis, and other secondary effects that extend far beyond the immediate impact area. An asteroid as large as 10 kilometers across is thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs when it struck the Yucatan Peninsula some 65 million years ago. On February 15, 2020 asteroid 2002 PZ-39 is expected to approach the planet around 11.05 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, 6.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Objects close to and larger than one kilometer can cause damage on a global scale. When this happens, the rock will swing by the planet at speeds of about 15.19 kilometers per second or 35,567 miles per hour 57,240 kilometers per hour. Based on its observations of the rock's trajectory, NASA estimates the asteroid measures somewhere between 1,443 feet and 3,248 feet, 440 meters to 990 meters, in diameter. At both ends of the scale, any impact with the asteroid could be absolutely devastating. NASA said, since their orbital paths often cross that of the Earth, collisions with near-Earth objects have occurred in the past and we should remain alert to the possibility of future close-Earth approaches. It seems prudent to mount efforts to discover and study these objects, to characterize their sizes, compositions and structures and to keep an eye upon their future trajectories. But does the U.S. space agency expect the asteroid to come crashing into Earth this week? Thankfully the colossal rock will miss our planet by a safe margin of about 0.03860 astronomical units. A single astronomical unit describes the distance from our planet to the Sun, about 93 million miles, 149.6 million kilometers. In other words, the asteroid will miss us by more than 3.58 million miles, 5.77 million kilometers. Once the asteroid shoots by, NASA predicts it will pay a visit to the planet Venus on June 14, 2034. After that, on August 25th of the same year, the asteroid will make a close approach to Earth once again. This article is credit to the original author by Sebastian Ketley, published on February 13, 2020. For more science readings, visit their website at dailyexpress.com. Thank you for watching. When we study meteorites, we think they represent these asteroids and their different histories, but they've all interacted with the Earth's atmosphere, its biosphere, its hydrosphere. And so we don't know what effect just interacting with the Earth has had on these meteorites. We really want to get samples that are pristine. And so we can, we can do all of those things through this mission.